Unfiltered Beauty. No? Let's see. <laughs> I don't even know what my channel name is anymore. <laughs> what happened? Hi guys, welcome back to Unfiltered 50s. Whew. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get used to this. So, I do not know what happened. I was just sitting there and all of a sudden, I have been wanting to change my name to something that represented me and my big mouth and <laughs> like if you know me in my real life unfiltered really um, definitely describes me um, then you know I am turning a 51 this has been my first year in my 50th decade no that don't make sense my fifth decade my in my 50s and uh, I really wanted that to reflect um, a little bit on my channel although it doesn't matter how old you are you can uh, I hope you can have fun on my channel no matter what your age is I hope that I bring something to the younger gals out there too because I do like colorful eyeshadow and I really really don't like ageism and I don't like people saying well you know you can't wear that because you're over 40 or you're over 50 so yeah I definitely try to um, do a lot of colorful looks and um, I even uh, like teaming up you know I team up with a it's Amanda quite a bit and uh, do a lot of collabs with her um, she is just my girl I did want to take a few minutes before we get into the video just to let you know yes yes I did change my name um, but it's still me being me over here if you don't know anything about my channel if you're new to my channel I was get this glowing and that name came about because I do believe that beauty is from the inside and you should let your little light shine that's why I use the song this little light of mine uh, and beauty does come from the inside out and confidence is the number one beauty booster and the number one item that should be in your beauty arsenal a confident woman is always a beautiful woman in my opinion I'm really on the struggle bus I don't know if you're on the struggle bus from COVID, but I'm on the struggle bus. I am not doing the things that I, man, <laughs> boy, I'm on a tangent. Okay. I'm on the struggle bus with this whole COVID crap. I need to get back to doing something positive for myself. If you're in that situation too, um, let's lift each other up and see if we can't maybe encourage each other to set a little goal just something each day for ourselves um if it's just to uh even for like for me just to walk outside for a few minutes and feel the sunshine because i'm working at home i'm stuck at home if it's just to walk to the mailbox at least I've gotten out of the house out of the four corners and I've done something for myself so and that's where you know putting on my makeup really helps me but I need to do something more I need to get out and get to that mailbox at least I need to then walk down to the end of the street and back you know I need to do something for myself so if that's you if you're on the struggle bus let's do this together let's lift each other up so Anyway, I did uh, change the name to Unfiltered 50s, and if that's really been confusing to you, then <laughs> sorry about that. I should have made the video first, but I just did it on a whim. In today's video, I'm teaming up with the lovely Barbara Jean over at Age is Just a Number, and we've teamed up before. I really love her. She's um, one of my friends here on the YouTube platform, and we have uh, decided that in this holiday weekend, happy 4th of July, kaboom, uh, that we are going to bring you our three favorite products from our three favorite skincare brands brands and so I wanted to talk to you and I am focusing today on my three favorite affordable skincare brands and that would be Timeless Skincare, The Ordinary, and Good Molecules. I love affordable skincare while I love bougie bougie makeup. 
<laughs> I love affordable skincare. Not to say that I don't like some of the high-end skincare lines, but it really has to be something that I feel like is really, really worth it. I am in love with some new skincare products. I will talk to you about that. If you'd like to see this video in the high-end skincare lines that I really, really love, the products that I love from those lines, such as Biosance, maybe, um, Fresh, those type of uh, product lines from the Tatcha brand as well. Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to do that for you as well. But let's get right into the video, guys. And so for the top three products that I have from The Ordinary, starting out is my favorite product that The Ordinary offers, and that is the Grand Active Retinoid 5% product. Guys, this you can find this product available for you at Ulta and at Sephora. It is absolutely wonderful. It has the same active ingredient as the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Oil. This is so nice. It provides your skin with a grand active retinoid, which is a retinoid ester product, and it doesn't have to make a conversion once it gets into your skin. It readily binds to those retinoid receptors in our body. What's going to be in the giveaway for today? So I have got a Wish Shave Cream. I've got a Hangover, good in bed, and a Hangover 3-in-1 Primer Spray. Guys, this is really, really nice because this one does not have denatured alcohol. So if your skin is a little bit on the mature side or it's dry, this is really nice. It's really nice no matter what, but especially if it is on the dry side or the mature side because you really don't want to be putting that denatured alcohol on it. So that's really, really nice. And then also I have a um, natural deodorant um Sweat Active Technology, the Achiever Ocean Mint Type A Aluminum Free Deodorant. It promotes collagen, it promotes elastin synthesis in the skin, in the deeper layers of the skin. And what is so nice is that it does it without the side effects that you hear about so many times from retinols. Dry patches, flaky skin, sensitivity, and a lot of times even be sensitive to the point that other products that you put on your face will just almost feel like you've got a little bit of a sunburn effect from that retinol product. But this right here does not do that. It's in a nice squalling oil, so it goes on very, very nice. It feels luxurious. I use this at nighttime. I can use it in daytime. I can use it with my vitamin C. It is just absolutely wonderful. I cannot say enough good things about this product. And... It is a very cost effective. So it's around the $10 price point, maybe a few dollars above. And it is absolutely a gorgeous product. And my Sunday Riley was costing me for the large bottle $105. So I've really been able to cut down on my um, cost as far as my skincare goes. So this is a very nice product. Then the other product that I really, really love from the ordinary that is just you really <laughs> you really just can't get this product um, without really paying a high price for it anywhere else and that is the AHA 30 BHA 2% peeling solution now this is a straight-up dupe for the drunk elephant secrete baby facial and what I really love about this one more than the Sakuri Baby Facial is that this only takes 10 minutes, whereas the Sakuri Baby Facial takes 20 minutes. I'm sure that there's a lot of other reasons why I like it, but that's the main one. <laughs> um, because I am very impatient. This right here being a alpha beta 
peel is going to work above and below the surface of the skin. So the glycolic acid in it, the alpha, works above the surface and the uh, beta works below. So it's just a really nice peel. I do this about once every 10 days to two weeks and it just gets rid of all the dead skin cells. Um, it just provides a really nice glow to your skin. It allows all of your skincare products to really be able to penetrate the skin without having to fight through that dead layer of skin to get there. And it just makes your skin look so alive, vibrant, rosy, glowy, just beautiful whenever you get done. You really do see an instant difference. And if you have not been using an alpha beta peel, this is a great one to pick up. It helps with acne scarring. It helps with hyperpigmentation and any other types of scarring that you may have on your face that you might want to get rid of. It is a beautiful product. I really, really love this one. But it's really convenient to use. You just use it on a dry face, not a wet face, and just let it sit for 10 minutes, then rinse it off, and you're done. I don't use this after I shave my face. So on the days where I do face shaving, which I don't shave, but about once every other week. So, you know, one week I may shave my face, the next week I may do this. The next week I may shave my face, the next week I will do this. So, and that's kind of what I alternate between with is face shaving and this. But this is a very, very good product. Love it. And then the other product that I really, really love from The Ordinary is their Buffet Serum. And this right here is their Peptide Serum. It's very, very cost effective. It has Matrixyl 3000 in it. And it's a very good collagen promoting, protein promoting. Matrixyl 3000 is a very good peptide to use in your skincare. So I love, love, love this product from The Ordinary. Let's move on to Timeless. Timeless is an affordable skincare line, but it is a little bit more expensive than, say, Good Molecules or The Ordinary. But it is available online. I'll leave the links below. But one of my favorite things that Timeless makes is their 20% uh, vitamin C plus E plus ferulic acid serum. And this is the way that this comes. I'm almost out of my May Love, and so I'm going to rotate through a bottle of Timeless. I love their new packaging because I feel like that this actually keeps the product more stabilized in the fact that it is more light resistant than May Love's. Although my May Love, I use so much of my May Love that it never gets discolored on me before I use up the whole bottle anyway. So this one does have a nice pump. It has a bottle that is opaque where the light is not going to oxidize it. And so I really love the new Timeless packaging. So hats off to Timeless. Their old packaging is in the blue dropper bottles like this. And so this is much improved. And I just always, you know, keep my vitamin C in the boxes that it comes in. And this has been being kept in the refrigerator until I'm ready to use it. And then I take it out of the refrigerator. It goes on my bathtub edge where the rest of my skincare is. The next thing that I absolutely love to have in my skincare rotation is the Matrixyl Sin 6 Serum from Timeless. And this again is the Matrixyl uh, 3000 Peptide Solution from Timeless. It's really, really good Timeless. Usually, and as a matter of fact, this weekend they're having a 
50% off sale, I believe. I don't know if it's buy one, get one 50%. I don't know if it's on their refill bottles or if it's just on their regular products or all 50% off. I'm not sure what it is, but I did get a notice that they're having their 50% off sale for the 4th of July. And I love the Matrixel Sin 6. I also love their CoQ10. I love to mix it with this just in the palm of my hand and rub the two together and put it on because the peptide and the um, CoQ10 work really, really great together for collagen synthesis. So I love the two of those together. And um, I need to pick some more of that up. And then the other thing that I adore from them is their B5 Hydration Serum. And this contains um, B5 and hyaluronic acid. And I love the serum. It is such a great hydration serum. And so this is um, my other fave from Timeless. Okay. Moving into Good Molecules. There's a lot of products from Good Molecules that I really, really love. And one of them that I did not bring up here because I have such little amount of it left um, is their rose hip seed oil. And the reason that I love the Good Molecules rose hip seed oil so much is that it is the variety of rose hip seed oil that is the Rosa Rubinosa rose hip seed oil. So there's two varieties of the rose hip seed oil. One is the RC variety and one is the RR variety. And the RR variety, the Rosa Rubinosa, is the one that's been documented to contain the tretinoin. So you're getting a little bit of retin A from that rose hip seed oil. And I just love it because that's the variety that they use. So the one that is used in the ordinary is the RC variety. So I always suggest that you go with the rose hip seed oil from Good Molecules over the rosehip seed oil from The Ordinary. That is one of my favorite products from The Good Molecules. They also have some uh, products that I really like that I haven't been able to get a hold of. They've been out of them for a long time and that's their discoloration serum because it contains their tranexamic acid. So that's another great one if you're thinking about it. But the three that I have here to show you that I absolutely adore is one, you know, I talk about this all the time on my channel. It's the Instant Cleansing Balm. Guys, this is such a good deal. If you like the matcha green tea from Physicians Formula, if you do the breakdown on the price of this one, you're almost getting double for just a couple dollars more by picking up the Good Molecules brand. And it is a wonderful cleansing balm. I love this product. It is so good. It's just a clear white product. It doesn't have hard balls in it. It goes on your face so nice. It busts up your makeup right away. You really don't even need a second cleanse with this. It really gets the makeup off, especially if you're using a makeup eraser type cloth like I use. I use the Vintage Company's type of makeup erasers because they're square in a washcloth type of shape and I really really like that better than the makeup eraser long ones. I like the ones that are more square. But this is so good. I cannot rave on this product enough. I go through them all the time because it is so cost effective and it really, really does the trick. I don't have to use any type of micellar water with it. I just go vroom, right in on my eyes. It doesn't bother my eyes. It doesn't make my eyes sting, itch, burn. It just takes the makeup off and I love it. The other thing that I love is the Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel Eye Patches. I love to use these when I'm getting ready just as a shadow guard to also depuff my eyes in the morning. These are wonderful and they just come with so many pairs. It is absolutely wonderful. I love this stuff. 
they're just, they're so good. They are so good. You will get addicted to these. You will just get addicted because they're cooling and they feel so good, especially if you keep these in the refrigerator. They are so good. This is the one product that I really wish I had a skincare fridge for. Oh, these are so good. Then the other product that I love, well, I love several other ones, but the one that I'm going to tell you is really good is this pineapple, if you like an exfoliating powder. If you like the Dermalogical, if you like the Tatcha Rice Powder, this one is also very, very good. It is so creamy. You just put a little bit of this in the palm of your hand, and you add a little bit of water to it. And it is a physical exfoliator, but it's so gentle, like a rice powder. And it is just so creamy. It goes on so nice. And I don't know when I will ever use this whole thing because it takes such a little amount of this powder. And this is so huge for such a good price. It's wonderful. It is wonderful. So if you like those type of exfoliators or you like to use a combo of a chemical exfoliator and a physical exfoliator, this works so good. So those are my recommendations for my favorite afford affordable skincare products. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you here for Unfiltered 50s. And if you have not subscribed to Barbara Jean's channel over on Age is Just a Number, run over there and give her some love. Give her a like, a share, and a subscribe. And we look forward to teaming up again in the future. And we look forward to seeing you. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Mwah! Smooches! Bye-bye till next time.